Ajax is one of the most decorated clubs in Europe, but last time they won Champions League was in 1995 with this amazing team. I take over Ajax for 10 years with the promise to make them champions again. But first we need to deal with situation in Eredivisie. Ajax is currently 5th and 31 points behind PSV Eindhoven. And it's not going to be that easy due to Ajax form and will have challenges that we are going to spin during the first 5 seasons. Firstly we are going to set our tactical vision. It is going to be Gegen Pressing. Let's spin the wheel and see the challenge for first season. And challenge for first season would be to release 3 highest rated players from the team. Jordan Henderson, Steven Burkheis and Jeronimo Rulli. We are going to release all of them. As you can see we do not have any depth in right wing position as well as CDM position. Our goalkeeper is only 72 rated. For this season we are going to sign right winger and CDM to replace Berghaus and Henderson. I am going through the scout and loan listing youngsters. We are going to give them chance to have some playtime in other clubs so they can grow up in their rating and maybe boost their potential as well. We are going to call back Konsensau instead of signing any other right winger as he is 20 years of age and already is 76 rated. In this team I see several players that we are going to stick with until the end of this takeover. We are going to put our faith in Ranch as a right back, two players in the center of the park, Hato and Shutalo. They are both young, Hato is 17 and 73 rated already and also I think Taylor, Broby and Konsensau will be with us till the end of this rebuild. Maybe Tahirovic as well. We are having 5 different challenges to complete in this takeover. We are going to get 6 Eredivisie titles, win all possible European trophies, we need to win Champions League minimum 2 times, get a Ballon d'Or winner from Ajax and promote 4 youth academy players to the starting 11. How can Ajax use scout be 2 star 3 star? This is a disrespect. So we are going to fire him and sign Nolan Pascal as our only scout. He is 5 star, 5 star. We are going to send him to Netherlands to find our own Van der Sar. For CDM position I am going to sign Matt Ritz. Only 4.8 million 75 rated. He will give us 1 or 2 good year in this position. For center mid position we sign Alexander Pras. 22 years old, Austrian talent. He will be sharing his time with Taylor. Ok guys, our scout has brought us Nick Van Dijk, 15 years of age, 2.6 million market value, goalkeeper, maybe he can become next Van der Sar. He is already 65 rated, 6.5, 15 years of age, after he becomes 16 we will promote him and send him to loan for 1 year, maybe 2 years and then he can become our main goalkeeper. Next we are going to send scout to Netherlands to find playmaker. Ok, in 3 months we didn't get any good players from the youth academy report. Next we are going to search for some defensive minded left backs. We have come to the end of the first season. Let's see the standings. We are actually second in the league after PSV who went unbeaten. Having 28 victories and 6 draws, 90 points. We have only 71 points but I guess this is good, we are in a Champions League spot. In terms of goal contributions it is of course Brian Broby, 24 goals and 3 assists, Bergwijn comes with 16 and 6, Konsensau with 9 and 4, we had a couple of players that grown well like Rensch, Sutalo, Hato, we got 2 good center midfielders in Pras and Taylor, next season Pras also is going to be a starter, Konsensau is already 80 rated, Broby 83 rated, so here you can see in academy we have only 3 players, Van Van Wien as a left back, Van Dijk and we also have Molinar a right back. We are in the beginning of the second season. We didn't make any progress towards our objectives, but let's spin the wheel and see the challenge for second season. We have to release two youth prospects. It is definitely not going to be Hato. Ok, we have Carlos Forbes, Linsen, Rensch, Konsensau, Rasmussen, Gay, Bas, Fitz, Unuvar. I think it's only fair if we release one player above 70 rated, it is Christian Linsen and also we are going to release Rasmussen, striker. 
Okay, Nick Van Dyke is promoted to senior team. He is 16, has potential to be special. Owen Wendell is back from his loan and we have two choices in left back position. It is Borna Sosa and Wendell. I think we are sorted for this season. In right back position we also have good choice. Devine Ranch and Jorge Sanchez. Benjamin Tahirovic is on loan as well as Vos. So we don't have any depth in CDM position. So this season our transfer target is to find good CDM. We are sorted in center mid position and pretty much anywhere else. I have decided to go with Valentin Ronger transfer. 80 rated, he can be our CDM for a couple of seasons. We can do one more transfer this season. I decided to go with Luka Ivanušec as a backup for Bergwijn. This time I'm going to send Nolan Pascal to Belgium to find some playmakers. Okay guys, we are in the end of the second season. Let's see the standings. We are in the final of Europa League. This is good. And we are again second with 76 points. This time Feyenoord won the league with 80 points. I guess next year will be ours. Yes guys, we won Netherlands Cup host Oranje Becker. 3-0 win in final against Heronwen. Let's check Europa League. I believe we were in Champions League. Let's see. No, we weren't. This probably means that we did not pass qualification round in Champions League. We were in Europa League from the beginning. We got 3 wins and 3 draws in group stage. In the round of 16 we were against Juventus, we passed them 4-3. In quarterfinals we were against Napoli, we passed them 3-2. And in semi-finals we were against Atletico Madrid. What kind of pot is this? At first Juventus, then Napoli, then Atletico Madrid and Bayern Munich in the finals. Is this a Champions League draw? It is again Broby, of course 27 goals, 3 assists. Consensau, great season 19 and 5 and 13 and 6 from Van den Boomen. Let's simulate this Europa Liga final. It is Bayern Munich with the victory, 4-3. We conceded in 115th minute. We fought, we fought well, but we lost it. We had hell of a run in this competition and I think this can be one of the last chances that we could win Europa Liga as we are getting better in the league and I don't think that it will be possible for us to win a conference league. Anyways, we need to be happy with this campaign. We are starting the third season of this takeover and for now we are far far away from completing our objectives. To be more precise we didn't do any objective yet and we are not even one step closer. But let's spin the wheel and see the challenge for third season. The challenge for third season is bankruptcy, zero euros for transfers. Actually we can generate some money for transfer if we sell our players. We saw our goalkeeper, Ramai. You can see we have 10 million in the bank, so we can pay our wages for this season. And sadly, we have just one keeper this season. It is Jay Gorter. And Van Dyke is on loan in Augsburg. Next season, I think he will overtake the goalkeeper position already. And quick update on academy players. We have Lars Blom, center back. Max van der Velde, center mid. Gabriel Smet, Jan de Koning, Joris Molinar, Nick van Wien and Nick van Dyke. They are all on loan waiting for their chance to be starter for our team. Oh, this is not good enough. We are just fourth. This bankruptcy challenge kicked us hard. Next season we are going to miss out on Champions League. In Cup we were eliminated by PSV in semi-finals. In Champions League we were second in the group with Manchester City. Then we passed Milan 2-1 in round of 16. Leipzig 4-2 on penalties, but in semi-finals we lost to Manchester City 3-4. Fair play to our team. In terms of goals, of course it's going to be Broby. I think he is going to be the player who will get Ballon d'Or from Ajax in this rebuild. Ivanušec 21 and 12, Konsensau 18 and 6, good season from both our wingers. Guys, we are in the beginning of the fourth season. And of course, last challenge is the transfer ban for two years. Here is the team in the beginning of the fourth season. We have Ivanušec in left wing position. We are sorted in striker position and right wing position. Goalkeeper Van Dijk will be the first player who is coming from the academy to the main squad. From this season, from the fourth season, he will be our main goalkeeper. I am very satisfied with Rensch, he is only 23, he will be going up in his potential. As well as Sutalo, he is 26 and Hato, of course, 20 years of age. 
We finally won our first Eredivisie title with only 77 points. And also in Europa Conference League we are in the final against Leipzig. Let's hope we can win this game. Yes, 2-1 victory for Ajax, 111th minute Ivanishit with the goal. In terms of goal, it is again Brian Broby, 37 goals and 4 assists, but wow, Francisco Consensao, 30 goals and 17 assists in 48 games. Okay guys, we are in the start of the 5th season. In previous season, we made our first step towards completing our objectives. By signing first player from Youth Academy to main team, winning first Eredivisie title and UEFA Conference League trophy. This season the challenge is the same, we are transfer banned for the whole season. In this season, we are promoting second talent from Youth Academy to main team. It is Gabriel Smet from Belgium, center midfielder, 75 rated, has potential to be special. We are putting a lot of faith in him. We are first with 90 points, 29 victories, PSV is second with only 84 points, Dutch Cup, we won 3-2 against PSV in the final second trophy of the year, let's check of course Champions League, and we were in the group with Chelsea, Celtic and Rakov, we somehow made through round of 16 and there we were eliminated from Barcelona 4-2. Let's see the stats for players for this season. Broby 29 goals only, 10 assists, 24 and 7 for Konsensau and 24 and 6 for Ivanishitz. We made it to season 6 and we are doing okay towards completing our objectives. We already have two Eredivisie trophies, two players promoted from Youth Academy to main team, but in Europe we only have USCL trophy. We still need to win other European competitions and win Ballon d'Or with Ajax player. As we are hunting for Champions League title, I decided to sign world-class talent in this career mode already. Alejandro Garnacho will be our new left winger. And we also got this season Nuno Mensch instead of Borna Sosa. He will be our left back. As you can see, Tottenham paid release close for Pras and they got them. We are going to put our faith in Taylor and Smet for this season in center midfielder position. We are in the end of the sixth season. We won our third Eredivisie title in a row only with 75 points, but sadly we were not able to win the cup this time. We were first in the group with Celtic, Monaco and Malmö. In round of 16 we beat Roma 5-2. In quarterfinals we won on penalties against Bayer Leverkusen, but sadly we lost to Real Madrid in semi-finals 5-0. Prime Broby again. 32 goals, 2 assists, 24 and 5 for Garnacho, great season for him. Seventh season of Ajax takeover is on the way. We already won three Eredivisie titles, promoted two youngsters to main team, but still we have only one European trophy. Let's turn the tables this season. The our youth prospect Lars Blom is 20 years of age, 79 rated, has potential to be special. He will be taking the center back position from Sutalo. Sorry Josip, we are going to send you to transfer list. Okay, here's the team in the beginning of the seventh season. In goal we have one die. Right back is Ranch, Blom, center back, another prospect from Academy, Hato Mendesh. Rogier, Taylor, Smet, third player from Academy already in the first 11, Consensao, Broby and Garnacho. On bench we have Molinar, who is the replacement for Rench, and Van Wien, who will be backup for Mendes. I decided to bring back former Ajax talent Ryan Gravenberg. Welcome to the team. He will be our center midfielder. He will be playing instead of Taylor, who is stagnated in his development. Yes guys, we are in the end of the 7th season and we won 4th Eredivisie title in a row, but let's see the Champions League. We were first in the group with perfect record, 18 points. In the round of 16 we were against Roma and we passed them only 4-3. In quarterfinals we passed Bayern Munich and in semi-finals again only one goal difference. We won against Paris Saint-Germain and we are in the final against Barcelona. In terms of goals it is again Broby 37 and 5, Consensau 26 and 15 and 21-8 for Garnacho. Okay, let's simulate this final and see. Can this be the first Champions League trophy for Ajax? No, we lost 2-1. I am already worrying that we are going to fail this Champions League challenge.
We are in the start of the 8th season. We already won 4 Eredivisie titles, promoted 3 Youth Academy prospects, but we still yet to win our first Champions League. And we also need to win a Ballon d'Or. We need to be very successful in last 3 seasons to complete all challenges. So here is the team. In goal we have Van Dijk, Range, Blom, Hato, Mendes, De Koning, Smet, Gravenberg, Garnacho, Broby, Consensao. Four academy players in first 11 are Van Dijk, goalkeeper, Blom, center back, De Koning, center defensive midfielder, and Smet. With that, we complete the objective of having four youth academy prospects playing in main team. In Eredivisie we are first, we made super team for Eredivisie, 89 points, 5th title in a row. We are again in the Champions League final to face Manchester City. Broby 35 and 2, Garnacho 28 and 10, Ponsensau 13 and 10. Let's simulate this final. Yes we won! 3-1 victory. Van Wien, who was replacing injured Mendes, Mikau Tadze and Gotz. None of our starters scored, Konsensau got a red card and Smet got injured. That was a mess of a final but we finally won it. We got already 5 Eredivisie titles, first Champions League trophy. We are looking good to complete all objectives except one. I don't think we will have any chance to win Europa League. We won UEFA Super Cup, 6th Eredivisie in the back and 2nd Champions League title. We got 6 Eredivisie titles, 2 Champions League, UEFA Super Cup and we need to win Ballon d'Or this season. It is Francisco Cosensao, Ballon d'Or winner from Ajax. All these 10 years I thought it would be Broby, Francisco Cosensao, congratulations. We managed to complete all objectives, besides the one to win all European trophies. We created this monster team while maintaining balance in it. Four original players, four prospects from Youth Academy and three world-class signings. 